Welcome back to the channel, back out in the shop again. We finally got the fittings we needed to get the fuel pressure regulator installed. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I got it right here in this box. We're gonna open it up, take a look at what we get with the kit. We'll install it on our fuel rails that we installed in the last video. Then we'll take a look at it. Here it is. This is the fuel pressure regulator kit that came with my 15 gallon fuel cell kit that I showed in my previous video. If you didn't see it, I'll put a tag up on the uh, screen where you can see it or post a link to it in the description box. But basically it was a 15 gallon fuel cell kit, came with a pump, came with two filters, the brackets that hold those filters, uh, 20 foot of 6AN line and a, an assortment of 6AN fittings. But actually I pointed to that, that's my 8AN. I'm converting everything over to 8AN and I'll show you that here in just a second. Basically what you get in the box instructions obviously but it comes with these the fuel pressure regulator that has a the 20 to 75 psi spring already installed in here but it does come with one that is 75 to 120 if that is something that you need to use now also it comes with an assortment of fittings and these are the ports on this are 10 o-ring base size 10 or ORB, orb, if that's what you want to call them. So it comes with two 10 by 10s, a 10 by 8, so 10 ORB to 8 AN, 10 ORB to 6 AN, and then your return size port is actually smaller on the bottom here. It is 6 AN to 6 AN. Now I'm going to be using a 90, and I'm going to 8 AN. So I've got a, I've got a 6 to 8 here that I'm going to be using and I'll show you that when we get it installed. It also has your boost reference or your boost port. Uh, this is your pressure gauge port. It has a bracket, we're not gonna be using that. That's why I wanted to make this video. I saw hundreds of videos of people mounting these on the firewall, they mount them on the fender well, they make brackets to mount them to the fuel rail, and I'm gonna mount this straight to the fuel rail. So, um, not to forget, sorry, it comes with a fuel pressure gauge, it's not liquid filled but this is the fitting that's gonna make the magic happen. So as you can see, it's 10 on one side. It's gonna screw in here. This is gonna to go to our fuel rail, and we're gonna let this sit on the fuel rail. And what's special about this fitting, if you'll notice, it is a swivel fitting. So we're gonna install that, and I'll show you some other things we're gonna do when we get over there. But before we get over there, I wanna pop up this video right here, and I wanna show you from Evil Energy's website how they recommend installing this uh, fuel pressure regulator. So from your fuel cell, they're going to the pump, which I will have a pre-filter on my um, setup. Then I'll have a filter after the pump, but they show a filter after the pump that wires off into your two fuel lines. One goes to each fuel rail with the fuel pressure regulator, can be at the front or the back, really doesn't matter. And then your return line going back to tank and you can see how that fuel flows through the circuit. So what I'm gonna do is a little different and I'll show you on the truck here in just a second. I'm gonna mount my fuel pressure regulator. These dark lines are my fuel rails. Then I'm gonna uh, have a hose, a crossover hose on each one with a T in the back coming from my pump. This will be coming from the fuel cell through the pump. It'll T at the back so I can keep my fuel lines on the back of the engine. Come back up to my fuel pressure regulator and then go back to my return. That'll make sense when we get over here to the truck. So let's go over here, get it installed, take a look at it and uh, It'll all come together when we see it. Okay, just a tip before we install this, unless you have a very thin wrench to get on this right here, I'm gonna suggest that you install it in the fuel rail first, get it tight, and then we'll twist it into the fuel pressure regulator. Also, don't forget to lubricate your O-rings. Here it is. What do you think, guys? I didn't have to build any custom brackets, mounted it straight to the fuel rail. If you didn't see the fuel rail video where I installed these, I will try to tag it up here in the video. My tags haven't been working very well, but I'll also leave it in the description box below if you wanna check out the video for this. But the piece that makes this work is this swivel adapter. It's the 10 ORB or 10 ORB to 8 ORB, 8 ORB O-ring base fitting that swivels. I just screwed it in there and made it work. 
So as you can see, I'm going to put a 90 here. I'll loop over to my other fuel rail and in the back where my fuel line comes in, this is gonna be a, just a little bit different than the schematic I showed you, uh, Evil Energy. Instead of my regulator being back there, it's up here, but I'm gonna use a combination of fittings. I'm going to use a, uh, a straight fitting into my fuel rail back here. I'm gonna tie a T into that. Then my fuel pressure will come in on this side to my fuel line. This one will loop over to my other fuel rail so that when the pressure enters the system, it will pressurize both fuel rails coming down. When it builds up the 58 to 60 PSI that I need to run this LS engine, then my return line will open up, which I will plumb this back around and go back down through the frame rail back to the fuel cell. And that's how I'm gonna make this, this system work. So I appreciate you guys stopping in once more to the channel. Uh, if you like this kind of content, hit that like button, leave me some comments below. What do you think about this design? You think it's gonna work? What have you guys done? I've watched a bunch of videos on installing these fuel pressure regulators. I just, I just didn't like mounting it to the firewall or trying to come up with some custom bracketry. And I think this is gonna work very well for the truck. Like I said, as always, I will leave the links to the parts in the description box below so you can get that special swivel fitting if you're kind of doing what I'm doing, you like this idea, as well as the 90 fitting with the, the six ORB to eight AN. I'll leave all that stuff in the description box below as well as the Evil Energy Fuel Kit uh, and the Regulator Kit if you want it separately. So as always, if you like this stuff, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll catch you in the next episode.